let's check out the anti-spam settings available in the Cisco ESA from the GUI. Right now, I'm under Mail Policies, Incoming Mail Policies. I click on that, and this is where I land. Okay, as we can see under anti-spam, it says not available. Okay, that's not a problem as long as you have of the licenses installed for the anti-spam engine. All you need to do is you can either click on this not available option or you can just go to security services and you'll see our import anti-spam right here. I clicked on it and we can see that our import anti-spam is currently disabled globally. So what, what do I need to do? I'll click on this enable button to make sure that it is enabled. I click on it and it will be enabled, but it's not kicking. It's not in action right now. Anti-spam um, scanning is now available for your Cisco and port appliance for your incoming and outgoing mail policies, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, one interesting thing here is that uh, no new updates are available. Um, today's June 9, it's almost um, completely updated. Now, uh, another thing is that in, in case you're not sure, you can still click on this uh, update now button and it'll kind of force the update of the anti-spam engine rules and everything. And in case there's anything new, it's gonna pull that. So that's pretty cool, right? So it is it is enabled, but you still gotta make sure that you commit the changes. Without that, it will not be in action. So I'll just go ahead and click on commit changes and put in the comments, that's the good practice. Enable the anti-spam, my goodness, spam engine okay commit to changes we're good almost there okay now we can go back to the incoming mail policies i click on that and this time we don't see not available that is good okay now what we'll do is we'll just click on this option right here and explore what does the cisco esa provide you with the anti-spam Click on it and you see all these options right here. Let me just zoom in a little bit to make it look better. Now this should be good. Now the first thing is if you wanna disable it, just click on this disable uh, check button, uh, radio button, sorry about that. Yeah, for positively identified spam, this is what my ES is uh, gonna do. And for suspected spam, this is what my ESA is gonna do. In case you wanna change it, you don't want that option. So you can select deliver, drop, bounce, or just keep it at spam quarantine. And prepend every email with this um, string that it is a spam. You can change it, it's completely your choice, but this is by default and this is what um, people usually choose. There are advanced settings available as well. I'm not gonna go through all this because um, yeah, it's not really uh, something I wanna cover in this video. Apart from this, you got the same options available in the suspected spam settings. And the final option is the spam threshold, which is by default at 90 for positively identified spam and 50 for suspected spam. Although you can select this option right here, use custom settings if you wanna go ahead and change it, make it more aggressive or whatever. So these are the options available for anti-spam inside the Cisco ESA for mail policies. Exactly same options, similar options available for the outgoing mail policies as well. At the moment, you see it says disabled because why wouldn't I trust my outgoing emails, right? I know I don't send out spam, so I'm good. So I'll, I'll just keep it as disabled. However, if you click on it, you'll find the same exact options, right? So in order to make sure that it is enabled, just go ahead and click on this radio button right here and you should be good. The rest of the options are exactly the same that we checked before. Okay. Now that's good. Apart from this, uh, just one one more thing I wanted to let you know is that, you know, in case you don't see any of these options, it's not available, you don't have the licenses, you can go to feature keys, click on this feature key right here, which uh, is under system administration. And if it's not there, you won't be able to use anti-spam engine. Now that is good. That's pretty much it for the video today, I believe.
and uh, there's a lot we can do in the CLI as well. Again, you should be familiar with those commands as well for anti-spam, how to force the update, and how to check the status and everything. Well, possibly not in this video. In the upcoming ones, I may go ahead and cover that as well in case required. Just put in the comments in case you have any questions and uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, please. That helps a lot with the uh, uh, YouTube algorithm. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye.